So we're getting ready to install the Motor 2 Hermosa radio from Retrosound into our CJ7, but before we did, I wanted to show you some cool features about this product. This is how the radio comes. There's no faceplate. There's no dials or buttons or anything. It's just kind of a box. You have all your cables coming out the back, but that's about it. But that's what makes this really cool, is because you could actually customize this to your vehicle. For our Jeep, we ordered the black face. It comes with black buttons, nothing really exciting, but that's kind of what we wanted for the CJ7. Now, the great thing is, with Retro Sound, you can actually get different face plates. That's what makes this so neat. And all it does is it installs by plugging right in here. all together like that and now we have something that resembles a radio and then all you have to do is put in a couple screws here all right so now our faceplate is on it's on there tight good now the Hermosa 2 comes with this side plate that allows you to hook it up to the radio so that you can install your buttons now here's another cool feature from retro sound is here's your dials they are cabled with a little like phone clip on it and what that allows you to do is put that anywhere in here to fit your dash now for our setup we're not going to be using these side brackets because they're not going to work with our Jeep what happened was somebody decided to cut the hole larger for a larger single din stereo and therefore we can't put an old style radio in there. Here's the really cool part though. Retro Sound makes a universal DIN repair kit. Let me show you what it's got. So basically we have two new brackets and a single DIN insert. And on top of that, we have this cool bezel that's going to go on. Retro Sound has several different face plates that you can get. So you can match it to what your vehicle is and what you like. I went ahead and installed these two brackets. So now they're on there. And then we have our knob, which you can see you can still move right now until I figure out the right spot where I want to get it at. And the really cool part is once you get it all figured out, all you have to do is plug this little clip in. Okay, well I went ahead and put everything together and this is what we're left with. So what we started off with was just a simple box and the really cool thing about the Retro Sound is that you can configure it to your vehicle. Now, another really cool thing about Retro Sound is you can actually uh, pick your buttons that you want for this. So they have a selection of three or four different kind that you can select for your vehicle. So we went with, <coughs> we got the little metal, uh, flippers and then we got the cool little radio buttons that kind of are similar to the old Jeep ones. Now we got a truly vintage looking setup that is now ready for your singled in repair. All right, let's put this in the Jeep.
we got our retro sound stereo installed. Let's go ahead and turn it on so you can see what it looks like. Takes a minute for it to boot up. And right now it's set for Bluetooth, but we'll back it out. So radio works well. We do have a USB plugged in right now, so. So that works well. We don't have anything in the auxiliaries, but we've been having a problem with our Bluetooth. So let me connect my phone to the radio. And you'll see that it says it's connected. All right, now let me play some music for you. And that's what we get. We get this wonderful trippy noise. But if we move our phone closer, kind of works better. And pull it away. So we've already contacted Retrosound and talked to them about this, and they think there's something wrong with the Bluetooth antenna. So now I have to take it out again, and I have to ship them back this unit so that they can check out the Bluetooth antenna. Time to take it out and ship it back. One week later. Okay, it's been one week since we sent the retro sound radio to get fixed. From the time we shipped it off to the time we got it back, it's been one full week. So, got it back and let's check to see if it's working now. All right, turn it on. And it seems to boot up a little faster. We have it set to Bluetooth. Now let's see if our Bluetooth is working. So we'll turn our Bluetooth on. It'll automatically connect. Looks like it's working. We can move our phone anywhere we want, and it seems to be working great. <clears throat> All right. Well, looks like we got a good classic radio in the CJ now. Now it's time to have some fun listening to it and cruising around. Thanks for watching.